okay it looks like it's recording and the previous two videos I was only able to record two to three seconds again and that's always a pain in the ass because yeah, I'd be talking and I have to repeat myself that and I'd have to you know well I can't do anything about it because what I've seen already uh, I need to tie my shoelace here real quick because that is dangerous to have your shoelace untied but you know some things only happen once and you can't recreate the scene it's not like you're at a movie set where there's you know the director and the actors and the uh, what do you call it not the scene but the the props everything I mean at least you can do you know several takes until you get it right and you're satisfied with the footage that you've gotten but I'm recording in real time in real life so once it passes check out that ass on that girl her face is not all that great but I still hit it she's got a nice body But yeah, I mean, once something, you know, you pass by it once, that's it. I mean, you can't do a retake. So, and yeah, I was trying to record some of the college girls, you know, I was hoping that I would see out in the streets but it's May 5th today and it might have been today might have been the UNC campus's graduation day I know it's sometime in May so a lot of the students are done with school and a lot of the girls leave town and go back to their hometown. So, but not all the girls leave. There are some that stay for summer school if they want to go ahead and take the courses ahead of time or if they had to repeat a class. I was going to take it right there, but there was a car behind get on that lane, but I'm fine right here. But yeah, I mean, there are lots of guys that go to UNC also, but since, you know, I'm a heterosexual male, I don't really have a care for them. And so, I mean, there was like a handful of girls that looked good, but I missed recording them. But during the school year, when the springtime is out, when the weather is nice, you see a lot of joggers, especially the girls, they go out jogging some eye candy
after work, you know, it's always nice to have some eye candy. You know, live and direct, you know, right then and there. I mean, it's not like a strip club or anything, but... You know... And for those who frequent a lot of the porn sites on the internet, you know, they probably won't get too excited about a girl jogging down the street. Let's see if I can get in here. Uh, I'm catching all the red lights here. And I bought 209 degrees on my sport bike. And that's running you know, pretty hot. And 210 degrees Fahrenheit. My bike doesn't like too many stop signs. And the frequent stops. And another red light. So yeah, a friend of mine, a co-worker, He's like a hound dog. You know, he's always looking out for some girls he could talk to. And he was telling me a story one day. He tried to make conversation with a girl. But then the girl was like, I'm with somebody. Uh, and she pointed to another girl. And he was like, yeah, uh, that doesn't matter. And the girl was like, no, you don't understand. We're together. So uh, that meant that she was either a lesbian or, you know, she was telling a lie just so that he, uh, just so that she won't have to talk to my friend but uh, who knows? She could very well be a lesbian. I've never been with a lesbian, speaking personally. And I guess if a male gets together with a lesbian, I guess that doesn't really identify her as a lesbian. She would be more like a bisexual in which she has sex with both male and female. Uh, there are a lot of topics like that, you know, pertaining to sex, drugs, and I can't say money because I don't know if they talk that much about it. Uh, I haven't seen any topics about it, but the website I'm talking about, I've talked about previously on other videos. It's E-Bombs World. And I just ran across that site 
just through Google. And they are apparently, you know, are showing like a lot of a lot of pictures, a lot of videos, a lot of animated GIFs that are not safe for work. What they the section is titled NFS W. Uh, you know, it's real entertaining because you, it's geared towards um, 18 years old and up. And the content isn't what you'd, you know, normally see, normally see you know, in other forms. So anyway, as soon as I get to the house, I always check it. And I've been going to that site for maybe a week now. This is USS Princeton 2004 signing out.